Well, I know my husband protects me. He loves me like a child. He wants me to be beautiful. He wants me to keep the house neat and tidy for him, to look after our children. But I wish he realized that I'm a human being, that I have an identity, that I need to fulfill my dreams. I need to use my talents. I'm not an object he possesses. I wish my husband understands. Well, the same thing happened with Nora Helmer. She lived in the 19th century in Norway. Everybody thought she's a happy wife. Her husband Torvald loved her. It seemed like she was his world. She wanted to please him when he fell ill. She didn't know what to do to help him to take him to Italy and then she took a drastic step. She forged her father's signature and borrowed money. You know, for many years she was trying to make money to repay that debt. She was working overtime so hard, uh, not buying enough things so that she could save the money. All the time, day and night, she worked and repaid that debt. Her husband didn't know. He didn't know that she had saved his life. He thought she's just a child whom he had to control and protect. But then something terrible happened. Torvald's assistant in the bank, Crockstead, well, he was a man who was suffering because his wife had died and he had children to look after. He was not able to pay attention and do his bank job properly. Torvald hated him. And he knew that Nora had forged this check. And out of desperation, he was blackmailing her, threatening her that if she doesn't talk to her husband, on his, in his favor, ask Torvald to take him back in the bank job. He's going to expose her. And he did just that. He put a letter in the mailbox of Torvald, informing him that this is what his wife did. She forged a check. She's a criminal. He never realized Torvald, when he read this letter, he never thought, my wife is not a criminal. My wife will not do that. There must be something. Oh, she did this to save my life. My God, she loves me so much. I have to be with her. I have to help her out of this. I'm there for her. Torvald didn't feel like that. Torvald just got so angry with her. You are immoral. You are not fit to bring up my children. Are you a woman? You have disgraced me. I've got a sorry figure in front of my employee. He hurt her so much. Without thinking, without realizing why she had done this. Her friend Christine Lind was there. Actually, she was a former girlfriend of Crockstead. She talked to Crockstead and got him out of this blackmail. He was ready to let it go. He will not hurt Nora. He decided because of Christine. Christine is a divorcee and she's thinking that Nora has an ideal life. Hmm. Nora is more like a plaything of Torvald, you know. He makes her dress in a Neapolitan fisherwoman's clothes. It's like a fancy dress. He makes her dance, the tarantula dance. You know, like you are bitten by a tarantula spider. You dance like this. That is tarantula dance. And he has a study, this Torvald. He doesn't even let her enter his study. That space is for him. She can't enter. 
she's practicing the tarantula dance outside and he says I'll shut the door I won't be disturbed you can do whatever you want but if the door is open you can't disturb me she's like a plaything he doesn't really understand her that she realizes when Torval scolds her she really understood for the first time that he loves himself. He doesn't love me. Many men are like that. Not all. There are many men who understand women, love them. We should bring up our sons to be like that. But many men do not really understand or even try to understand. I wouldn't say all women understand. I'm sure women also do not understand their husbands completely. We should all try to understand our spouses more, accept them as they are. Otherwise, our families will be affected like Nora's and Torval's family was affected. When she realized that Torval doesn't love her, he decide, she decides to leave him. They have three children, but she's a strong woman. She decides to leave the children as well. She tells Torvald, my first duty is to myself. I cannot be here and not have an identity. I need to go to discover who I am. I don't want to be a plaything. I don't want to be like an object that is possessed first by my father then by my husband no I need to go and she bangs the door and goes there was a man Dr. Rank he loved her but she's a good woman she doesn't love all you know every man who loves her she says no I don't love you she's loyal to her husband she didn't leave the house to be with another man she left the house to be with herself so that she can understand herself more you know you need an identity do not live a life without an identity that's very important I was just talking to you about Henry Gibson's world-famous play A Doll's House <laughs>